guys, welcome back for a brand new episode of Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. It's a special one, yet again, because this episode is all about our trip to New York City for the Mummy premiere. We did the IMAX screening, I got to cover the red carpet. There was so much good stuff, so check it out. Where are we off to this time? <laughs> We're off to New York. How excited are you to fly again? Oh, people know me in flying. <laughs> I love going to different places, just don't like the actual flying part. Well, we're going to New York. We're going for the Mummy premiere, and yeah. clearly, clearly, it's red eye time. I even got one of those neck pillow thing. I never actually have used one. <laughs> I don't even know if it works. One of the best parts about this trip is that my family lives in New York, and that means I get to see some puppies. Back in New York City, on the way to the Mummy premiere. Hoping to get some time tonight with Tom Cruise, director Al Kurtzman, Sophie Vitella, all those good people. Then we also have our big Q&A before the premiere screening starts, so it's gonna be a good night. There's a Tom Cruise security power happening right now. That's enough people. Are you ready? Be happy. Yeah, let's do it. There's people coming in. Creeping closer, so close. Once Tom came on board, it it became a movie that does what I, my favorite Tom Cruise movies do. He's a very complicated, morally challenged character. The only person that's allowed to interrupt my interview is Tom Cruise. Have you gotten over your fear of horses? Yes and no. I mean, I can gallop on those little those weird bastards now. I am fascinated by the zero G sequence. So, is it insane that I want to go on a bomber comet? It is not insane because it's a lot of fun. It's hard on the body, but you won't be filming a scene that you had to do 64 times. You'll go up and you'll have a great time like we did in the first time. When that opportunity comes knocking, I'm taking it. Is there any particular monster that you're looking forward to seeing on the screen again in the dark universe? Yeah, I mean, I can't. I'm looking forward to really. I can't wait to see all of them. I, I, honestly, it's, you know, I knew these characters and these monsters. Since I was a kid, I saw the black and white films that were from the 30s. I saw it on television. And I'm just excited by, I know where the universe is going, and I'm excited for our audiences to experience what that's going to be like. Enjoy the film. Just spoke to Tom Cruise. It's kind of crazy. Mission accomplished right now. And now, if only I could get upstairs to that IMAX meeting. But it's going to be a little tough to get out right now. Formo. It's a very important person for Collider, you should yep. know. If you, if you like tweets and, and gifts and... I do love a lot of commenters out there. I've got some favorites. I've got some people that I could never want to read again in my life, but I got some, I got some people... It's okay, because my I'm... mom likes everything you post. <laughs> I got some fave commenters out there. Yeah. So remember that. If you get a like from Clyder, that's most likely for me. That guy, right there. <laughs> and uh, a Mr. Tom Cruise. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for these folks right here? We're transferring, what, what are we doing? We're transferring all the footage? We're transferring all the footage from the Mummy IMAX, Collider IMAX interview with Tom Cruise and cast right now. So me and Perry are sitting outside as the movie's going on. 
transferring all this footage. This is the fun stuff. This is the stuff that you dream about when you want to work in the entertainment industry. Like this is as behind the scenes as it gets, basically. Like, you know, like, check this out. Take, take, a, take a look at that. Transferring. There we go. See that bar? Just waiting for that bar to fill up. How so, many more minutes are on that bar? Uh, seven more minutes, but we've been doing this oh. for a good, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, we've been sitting here for yeah. a while. And so you know what's the, waiting this is, for us? This is the glitz and glamour. This is the glitz and glamour. You know why it's extra frustrating? Because this is what's waiting for us. And you know what's what's this? This is free drinks and free food. Yeah. And you know what always makes Perry and Dennis happy? Free food, free drinks. Are you gonna like push Tom Cruise out of the way? Like he's gonna be like eating something and you're just like, get out of the way! Food! 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 Food and alcohol. How happy are you? I am elated. It's so dark, no one can see the food. Yes, I'm closing this mother den. We're done. You yeah. can't see any of this shit I've... <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's here at all. Seriously. Here's my coat check thing. Isn't that great? <laughs> We're done. Good night. <laughs> it's like a Tom Cruise pizza slice for Sophia Patella. Bloopers! Hey guys, welcome to Collider Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans. Oh my gosh, already. He's got to look both ways simultaneously. He can't It's going to be it. crazy. Oh yeah, I do have to split a little bit. I can make my eyes do that. Hold on. I can't. Also here, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. David Griffin. <laughs> Woo! Let's hear it for David. <laughs> Top Gun wingmen. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what's going on? It's R-rated. Kenny, Kenny Loggins is back. Highway to the <laughs> You guys are zone. sowing the good name of Top Gun, and I will not stand for it, damn it. Also joining us, the man who loves farts, Ken Napsok. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha. Coming in hot. How you doing? And now with the he, beard. You could join the Griffin family photo. Yeah. How is David? Yeah. <laughs> you see how good looking Ricky Whittle is, and how good looking David Griffin is. How are you single? You are a theology major. That's not really how you start a really good date. It's like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, I studied God for four years. <laughs> yeah. What might bomb could be a tax write-off or something. Well, oh, <laughs> good thing there's a lid on my adult sippy cup. <laughs> um, <laughs> we deserve a sequel to Top Gun. You could name this thing anything, and I would be over the moon about it. You could name this Top Gun, Jester's Colonoscopy. A really heated family drama, really tense family drama. Uh, drama. Genre, that is a genre. Genre! <laughs> genre! Oh my god, the hollow genre. Age uh, here have either been uh, critics at times or he's been artists at times. And we don't set out to make anything bad. Sometimes things don't hit. Find me crying in Las Vegas the day Captain Learning was released. Uh, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. You could name this Top Gun Sliders Volleyball. You could name this Top Gun The Iceman Cometh, The Return of Cougar. But, okay. Well, you just. Yeah. Like Holler at me when you know. Holler. <laughs> it's okay. The internet just broke. Sinead showed her underwear. <laughs> also, here is Jeremy Johns. Did you get sleep, Jeremy? Oh, boy. I did. <laughs> People by seeking out a demigod named Maui, voiced by Dwayne Johnson. No The Rock? No Dwayne The Rock Johnson? <laughs> No, he's, he's serious. He's just Dwayne. On June 14th is Boys of Abu Ghraib while the Lazar <laughs> Lazarus. God, okay. As for moving, leave it. <laughs> Try that again. Okay. Whew, I'm so hot. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think we should cast Cash Me Outside Girl as the new young Leia. 
Who? Catch me outside. Oh, dude. <laughs> Come on, We're man. both over here like, Everybody, yeah, everybody man. out there God, knows what I'm talking God, about. Not- Right. <laughs> I guess it's time. And rounding off our panel today, Christian Harlow. I enjoy ahi tuna nachos. Thank hey God. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. I finished all of season one. Um, Did it something is... just break back there? <laughs> An excitement for this, uh, this American teenager? Cody's heart just broke. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new episode of Collider Behind the Scenes and Bloopers. We've got a great episode because we went to New York and we got to go to the Mummy premiere. It was great. I have better bangs than Sophia Batella. Watch this video. I don't think he's Thrawn. No, uh, that would be amazing if he's like, have you ever heard of the healing power of laughter? <laughs> he starts wiping his head. You're like, it's blue. It's blue. Uh, oh, my God. He's Thrawn. No, it looks like old Luke got a little hot under the collar. <laughs> 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 E.T. is... All right, this comes from Christian Harloff, who writes, Ashley Mova, what did that first mailbag really say? <laughs> um, Christian actually stole my computer, and it actually said, do you like hot tea with cold ice cubes? That's what the first mailbag <laughs> said. <laughs> E.T., I guess it'll be remain. I guess today's the day. <laughs> you guys can find my blog at that, so Sinead up. Dot block. You guys take your vitamins, okay? <laughs> Don't have babies because they have tons of germs and it's disgusting. <laughs> We're movie fans, as in. Yep. We are movie fans! <laughs> movie fans for you, Baywatch was the bomb! I don't even know what you're talking about. It was the best. You see those down there? I don't even know I'm doing crunches today, dude. Well, so I skipped asked over guy, that sentence. I think that was a good question by the guy. I and mean, he just, uh, just totally no, no, ignored you his you made needs. up the question. Uh, you're, you're, are you you're, a fan of tea? Well, I love tea. I think that you are just, you know, you're neglecting what people really want to know about and you should be ashamed. Yeah, you should, you're about. just going to be like, drop a little weird pill. Yeah. Mm, I'm on E.T.'s watch- planet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm jacking into E.T.'s world. Finger, ow. It'd be totally weird. <laughs> when you said you're jacking yeah, into, I didn't want to hear where that's where the rest of that say, sentence was John, going. I didn't say I'm jacking off to. I said I'm jacking in. It's totally different. <laughs> this is totally different. Totally yeah, different. And you did that. Yeah. And yeah. Was like, like yeah. Doing yeah. Jack into the uh, world of E.T. Audiences all over the globe are rubbing one out to E.T. Oh. Join the fun. Oh We're just giving uh, the, the blue for real talk about. This Your moves. <laughs> For Ken and I, we, we, we do movie fans. What camera are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently recovering from his breakup with Perry is Jeremy Johns. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, how you holding up, buddy? That's a good job. It's gonna be okay. You learned this whole tangent. This blade doesn't learn shit from nobody. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. You know what else you could tell me there? What you want to see in future Collider Behind the Scenes episodes, because I read them. Hopefully, we'll do them all. I love seeing what you guys think. So check that out. Also, you know what? There's more behind the scenes. This this video right here. I like it a lot. That one too. That one? Yeah? You're going to watch it? I hope you watch that one also. You know what else is pretty damn great? Tom Cruise Pizza Slice. We have Copster to thank for this.